Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. So in this video, we're going to have a look at the improved AI behavior that is going to be included with patch 12.7 for Escape from Tarkov. Now I would have included this in my patch notes video, but it's quite an extensive list of changes to them that I thought it warranted in its own video. And I don't want to really do one massive lengthy video that a lot of people really won't want to sit through. I thought it's probably better just to do some smaller bite sized videos so that you can digest the information a little bit more easy and you're not getting bombarded with all this different information from the patch notes. So for the scavs in Escape from Tarkov, the bots will now be able to pick items up. So that's going to be guns. I think it's also going to include meds and things like that. So it's going to be actually quite trippy to watch a scav pick a weapon up and then he's going to use that against you. So I think that's really good. They've improved the AI behavior when they see bodies. So I think when they maybe see bodies, they'll probably go into an alert mode, maybe start searching rooms, looking around around for somebody or maybe they go into like a guard mode where they will guard the bodies so that they can't be looted. The bots now can pick up a second firearm from bodies so they can carry two firearms now so if one of them is downed is he maybe gonna uh, you know take the other gun from the corpse next to him and then he's got two weapons which makes him maybe a little bit harder to take on. I think that's a really good addition to the game. The AI can now greet each other or play a scavs showing their peaceful intentions. Now this is something that I've already noticed in the game when I play as a scav I've noticed that other scavs will greet you they will give you a Russian sound bite and give you you know the, the fists up and stuff like that so maybe it's just another iteration of that maybe they can call out maybe they can like, call out in the broken English that we've all been looking for but probably not it's probably still going to be in Russian but yeah I think that's a good addition to the game I think it's going to make it a little bit more immersive as playing as a scav the bots will eat and drink while in peaceful mode I don't really think that that's a massive inclusion to this but yeah it's going to be interesting to see them do it once in a while and I think it could also throw you out as well because you're not used to bots you know eating and drinking so if you hear somebody drinking you can be like well is it a bot or a PMC you're not really going to know now whereas before you always knew it was a PMC if you could hear somebody drinking. The AI will perform a mag check when in peaceful mode bots can check someone for friend or foe by aiming at him for some time if they're not sure of one's intentions so if you go in as a player scav they might actually all aim at you until they kind of work out whether you're good or bad does that mean that they will turn on you though if they're not quite sure of you and what kind of actions is going to make them think oh yeah it's friend or it's foe not too sure and that obviously killing another scav means that they all turn against you but if you kill another scav now and then you move on to another section of the map where there are scavs does that mean that they might be peaceful towards you because you haven't actually hurt them and you're in a different zone of the map so it's going to be interesting to see how that works i'm hoping that that's maybe the case maybe you could kill one that group around him would then start to attack you you move to another part of the map those scavs don't know about that attack so they don't attack you maybe they might ads at you thinking mm, looks a bit suspicious but you know it's going to be interesting to see how that works bots will sprint while patrolling if they consider the spot being dangerous now such as the scavs greeting i have seen this already present in the game i've the scavs sprinting around patrolling certain areas the first time i saw it, it really spun me out because i thought it was a player but it wasn't it was just a scav so i'm guessing that now that they're properly putting this into the game there'll be another iteration of that and they will run to other places as well because i've only ever seen them running in kind of a circuit and it's on it's in the same route every time so maybe now they'll be able to run to different places as well ai will be able to storm the player as a group if he's holding position and attacking them so yeah you can funnel scavs into certain areas and farm them that might be a little bit more difficult now because it looks as though they're going to team up and try and rush you which makes great gaming for the pmcs in there you know it's, it's another level of immersion with the game and the ai will try to avoid dangerous places now if the ai is going to storm as a group aren't they storming a dangerous place so you know i think that there could be a, a tipping point there where they might think you know what fuck that we're not going to mess with these pmcs that are doing too much damage and they might run away which depending on what quest you're actually doing it'll be either a good thing or a bad thing if you need scavs for your quest then that's going to be a bad thing so the whole level of immersion with the ai scavs now is taking on a new you know it's going to a new level and i think the regular scavs are already quite good you can figure them out very very easily you know where where they're going to patrol you can mostly read how they're going to react in certain situations you know that you've generally got maybe one to two shots a 
of leeway before they actually lock onto you properly. Obviously, you obviously get that one laser scav now and again that will just take you out in one shot. But generally speaking, they're fairly easy to go up against. Not anymore. It looks like they're going to get a whole lot harder. Now, obviously, you have the raiders that are a lot harder to go up against. But I think this is going to bring the general scavs up to their kind of level. Maybe not make them as hardcore, but it's going to present a new challenge. And it's going to make those maps that don't really have a lot of PMCs on a lot more challenging. You're going to have a lot more to go at. Probably going to feel a lot more fulfilled if you manage to make it out of a raid. Going up against a lot more scavs. Going up against scavs that can work together going up against scavs you know that are going to try and pick you off if they can they're going to rush you they're going to run at you it's a whole level of immersion that i think's been missing in the game one of the standout things for me with escape from tarkov since i started playing was this scav ai they really do put a lot of work into the ai in the game i think it's one of the standout things of the game and it looks like they've just put a whole load more work into it so i'm hugely looking forward to how this goes in the game and I just think it is a good inclusion into the game. A lot of people might not be happy with the scavs getting a little bit harder, working together, but I think it's just going to put more immersion into it. It's going to feel like a proper raid. You know, it's very easy to go in a raid that's got few PMCs in it and walk from one side of the map to the other, unchallenged, just popping off scavs as you go. Now you might have to think a little bit more methodically as you go through the map. So I'm looking forward to these changes. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching and listening. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe share your thoughts in the comments section down below stay safe and i will catch you in the next one take care